Hello Chikara, we're back with 17.2. And this week we have dumbbell walking lunges, toes to bar and muscle ups, and power cleans. In the scale version we have knee ups and pull ups. The main thing in this workout is knowing which of three athletes you are. The first group are the athletes that don't yet have their muscle ups or pull ups in the scale division. In this case, your goal should be completing the first two rounds as fast as possible to get the best tiebreaker score you can. Group two is going to be the person that's on the verge of getting their first muscle up or pull up, or the person that only has a few. In this case, your strategy should be going slow in the first two rounds to save as much energy as possible when it comes to the muscle ups and pull ups. Group three is going to be the people that are going to make it through at least the first round of muscle ups and possibly into or finishing the second round. For this group, it's going to be about managing your pace and grip so you can maximize the muscle ups you can complete. Here are a few tips for the movements. The first thing you're going to want to do is test different grips with the dumbbell walking lunge. There's a few different grips that you're going to be able to use. The first grip to try is just going to be a traditional front rack with the dumbbell. Second, you can try resting the dumbbell head on your shoulder with the other head facing straight up. And the third grip you can try is gripping the dumbbell and letting that grip rest on your shoulder. When you're performing the lunge, be careful not to shuffle your feet. If you shuffle your feet forward, you're going to be brought back to the last five foot increment that you passed. Also make sure that you lunge through your last step over the line. Something that you may want to do is just test out different stride lengths in your lunge to see how many it's going to take you to get across the 25 foot course. For the toes to bar, it's going to be all about managing your grip and energy so you can come back and get some muscle ups. I recommend breaking it up early. Something that you may want to try is maybe 25% or so of what you think your max effort set is and keep going with that. For the dumbbell power cleans, think about breaking that up too. All except your last set, you may want to go 7 and 1 or 4, 3, 1. So then on that last one, you can just pick it up and go right into your lunge. If the time's winding down and you know you're not going to make it back to the bar, Get through those power cleans as fast as possible so you can get a good tie break score and get as many lunges in before time runs out. On the muscle ups, make sure you're starting a little bit behind the bar and jumping into your first kip swing. This will give you a lot more power to be able to get over the bar rather than starting from under the bar in a dead hang swing. To warm up for this workout, do a few rounds of 30 seconds to a minute on the bike, some PVC pass throughs, walking lunges, and a few kip swings. After that, do a few rounds of a banded shoulder warm up that I'll link down below. And after that, do the movements themselves. Do four to six power cleans, a few walking lunges with the dumbbells, testing out your grip, and then a few toes to bar. If you're confident in your muscle ups, do a few of those as well so you're not surprised by them in the workout. If you're not sure if you got them yet, save them for when the workout comes. This is a fun workout. Definitely a lot less metabolically taxing than 17.1 unless you're a beast at muscle ups. Determine a strategy that's going to work for you and stick with it. Best of luck and I look forward to seeing you on the leaderboard. The first grip is going to be walk. Uh, to warm up for this workout, do a few rounds of some bike, some PVC pass throughs, pass throughs, pass throughs. Pass throughs is tough. <laughs> to warm up for this workout, do a few rounds of 30 seconds to a minute on the bike, some PVC path, path. <laughs> to warm up for this workout, do a few rounds of 30 seconds to a minute on the bike, some PVC, oh man, I cannot say pass throughs, PVCs. <laughs>